Hello everyone and welcome to my first uh, YouTube video. Um, as you can see by the title, this video is going to be about all the products that I have used up. Um, now because I've been anticipating doing YouTube for a very long time, there are quite a lot of products that I have um, that have been used up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this video into two um, sections. So I'm going to have part one is going to be I think like hair care and, and body products and then part two which will be a separate video, I don't know what's going on with this piece of hair here, let's just sort that out. Um, and then the second video is going to be kind of makeup and any odds and ends that just don't fit into hair and, hair and body care. So I'm just going to fire away with the first product. So the first products I'm going to talk about that I've used up and I've used this up multiple times is the Bedhead um, Superstar Queen for a Day Thickening Spray. This stuff is honestly amazing. I've used this, I think, for the past three years, maybe, um, and it really is what it does. It thickens your hair. So what I do is I put it in like sections of my hair up here uh, when it's wet, and also sometimes I'll spray it kind of all through my hair, just plumping out a little bit, um, and then blow dry my hair like upside down, and then give it a big blow dry with um, a hair dryer and brush. You can also use this on dry hair. So you spray it into the roots, you kind of tip your hair upside down, dry it with a, um, a hair dryer, and then put rollers in. So it works on dry hair and wet hair. I use it more often on wet hair, and I can't tell you how many times I have repurchased this. Multiple, too many. Um, I buy it for my hairdressers, but also I get it from um, like Feel Unique, Cheap Smells, Look Fantastic, those kind of places online, just because they're a little bit cheaper. So I recommend this product a lot, a lot. Next product, um, sticking with hair, and this is um, kind of like a theme, is the Platinum Tresemme um, Shampoo Conditioner, Deep Conditioner. I've got, um, just dropping things on the floor. I am not a massive fan, and I say this, and I'm about to show you loads of drugstore shampoo and conditioners, but I'm not a massive fan of drugstore shampoo and conditioners just because I think they're full of sulfates and they're not that great for your hair. Although a lot of them now are sulfate free. So I'm kind of backstepping on my words a little bit. But, generally speaking, I think higher end shampoos and conditioners, more often than not, are better for your hair. But saying that, these are full of sulfates, but they do make your hair feel amazing. And I constantly repurchase them. When they're on offer, I'm a bit of an offer girl. Um, when they're on offer, I've used up the shampoo, but I don't know what I did with the, uh, the bottle. Obviously just recycled it. Um, but I use the deep conditioner and also the normal conditioner. And I find they just, they make my hair, f my hair? They make my hair? They make my hair feel super, super soft. And also, when I went on holiday with my boyfriend to Egypt, um, I obviously bought the shampoo conditioners and all that kind of stuff, and he really liked it. He was like, oh, my hair feels so soft. I was like, yeah. Yes, it does. Yes, it does, Oliver. Yeah. Product, oh, I absolutely love to bits. It is Bedhead Small Talk. Now, you might think well, there's a bit of a theme already. You quite like Bedhead. I do like Bedhead. This is um, a thickening cream. First of all, the smell. Oh my God. I literally want a candle that smells of like this. Now, obviously, I've lit... <laughs> you can't see, but I have... I have scraped this. I've had it upside down. All the product run to the bottom, everything. I absolutely love this product. I scraped it and scraped it. There's, there's nothing left in here. It smells just amazing it smells i think like calam calamal cal cal calpol it smells like calpol um but it's such a good product again i have repurchased numerous times put it in literally just the roots of your hair you can put it down the rest if you want i tend to just put it in the roots of my hair for a bit of volume um i only works on wet hair i believe i think i only put it in wet hair damp hair um but it just works absolute wonders Smells amazing, it's amazing. You do have to proper like brush it through though with a, with a brush. You can't just kind of tip your head upside down, dry hair and that's it. You have to really work the brush through. Otherwise it kind of goes a bit tacky, a bit sticky. But whenever I use this, people always say your hair smells so good. I wish, oh my God, I wish that Bedhead would bring out a whole range that smells like this because I think it would sell. I think people would think it's amazing. This stuff smells mwah, just, mm. I could literally sniff this all day. I really want to eat it so I'm just going to put it down because <laughs> let's face it that won't be good for me. Um, next up is a bit of a random one, a bit of a boring one I suppose. I keep looking in here because I'm not used to filming so I'm just looking at myself. It's, I'm going to look in here. Look in here Grace. The viewfinder. Not this bit here. Um, it's Radox bath stuff. Now I love a good bath. I love to scrub, I love to wash, I love to shave, I love to just relax with candles in a bath 
and just kind of unwind. I find it very therapeutic and I do it probably every Sunday um, if I can. It's, it's a Sunday thing, I think. Although I don't really think these muscle soak things necessarily work, I do find that they are just a cheap alternative to having a really nice bath. So I will put them in, um, I buy them on offer more often than not, so I do buy them on offer. And I just really, really like them. I like Radox in general, I think they're a good brand. Again, they're cheap, they're easy, um, and very affordable when you get hold of them. So, um, big up the Radox, they make my bath time ever so fun. And this one is Muscle Soak, and I'm winding blend with Clary Sage and Sea Minerals. Feel good fragrance. Um, so yeah, I do like Radox. I like them a lot. <sighs> this product really, really excites me. I love it so much. I'm a massive fan of Lush. Um, and this is the Big Hair Sea Salt Shampoo. Now I have repurchased this, and I think I repurchased it when I had like this much left in it because I really just didn't want it to go. It's a sea salt shampoo if you're not aware of what it is. It smells really, really nice. Um, it's quite a weird concept to get to grips with because it is literally shards of salt in a shampoo and you have to like massage it through your hair. It's very bizarre, um, but it really works. I actually used it today on my hair, um, obviously, obviously not the empty packaging. Come on now. I used, uh, obviously, the, the, the repurchased one that has a product in it. I do love this big. I love Lush in general. Um, and a little tip, savour these pots because I think they recycle them and you might get something free. I'm not really sure, but um, it's always good to recycle, so I will put this to one side as well. Uh, big, awesome. Next up is one for the body, and it is, now I'm going to pronounce this completely wrong, Lauchten? Lauchten. Lauchten. La... This brand... You Google it. I was about to say YouTube it. Google it. Um, it is a shower oil. I suffer really badly, and I'm not scared to say it, I suffer really badly with razor rash and ingrown hairs. And when I shave my legs, they just don't go smooth and luscious. And as a girl, that is really quite soul destroying. Um, because you want to have silky smooth armpits, silky smooth legs. You just want to be a goddess, basically, like Venus. Um, this stuff, I find, works really, really well. Um, I tend to shave my legs in the bath because I just find, because I do have sensitive legs or armpits, I find in the bath they just shave a lot better, um, if I'm honest. I don't know why. Very bizarre. Um, this stuff is awesome. Uh, it, you need the tiniest wee amount, literally um, like this size, if not less. You, I just tend to lather it in my hands all over like half a leg. Um, shave it and I just find it really does help so I use this as a kind of shaving cream you can use it as a body oil it is really good I do find my skin is very nourished afterwards um, so I've been using this literally as my shave cream I haven't used anything else and I'll continue to use this because I really like it it smells um, I can't really describe the smell I'm so awful of describing smells I think it smells um, almondy it's got almonds in it um, I just really really like it so I would highly recommend this I think it retails at 16 or 17 pounds so you think oh okay for shaving cream grace come on that's really expensive but a little really does go a long way i've only repurchased it like once so i've bought this and i've bought a new one and um yeah it really does last a really long time and i really really like it like i say i suffer really badly from razor rashes so if it works with me and if i'm really happy with it and i'm very like critical about obviously products and stuff that works for me and if it leaves me with ingrown hairs or razor rashes i don't know um yeah I just really, really like this. Um, another shampoo and conditioner, uh, I did say also this was a hair video, so a lot of shampoo and conditioners, is Lee Stafford's um, Big Fat Healthy Hair. Now, I haven't completely finished these, it's a little bit light, because I have a tendency to cut um, any tubed products I have and then kind of scrape out, and I can see there's product at the bottom here. You're probably thinking, wow, that's crazy, that's empty, Grace, throw it away. Well, let me tell you, you're wrong. There is still product in here, if you cut the tube and scrape out the bottom, why wouldn't you? Money's worth, I call it. Money's worth. Getting your money's worth. So um, these probably have one more use in them. I'm pretty sure that shampoo is pretty much gone. But I can still see a bit, see a bit swimming about. So I might mix it with another shampoo. These are, yeah, they're good, you know. Um, wouldn't say my hair was necessarily voluminous after using them. I would say, I would say, I would say, I would say, they're kind of just a normal shampoo conditioner. I do like them. Not a massive fan of the smell. I've never been a massive fan of Lee Stafford's hair shampoo. I don't know why. I just don't think it smells particularly nice. Um, all his products have like a very similar smell about them. 
and I just, I'm not a massive fan, but um, I probably would buy these again. I'm not going to rush out to Boots and buy them straight away, but um, I did like them. The conditioner worked in my hair, the shampoo was good. Don't absolutely love them, but I wouldn't say no, I've never buy them again, they're a waste of money. I did think they were good, um, just not absolutely outstanding as a shampoo and conditioner, but, I, but um, I have used them up and I did like them, so yeah. Okay, so the next couple of products are going to be a bit of a theme. Um, it needs no intro or anything like that. It is it, this Open Glory products. So the first one, and I have and have used all of their body scrubs, I think. The first one is the breakfast scrub. Um, I don't think this was the first of their scrubs I used. I'm pretty sure I used the sugar scrub first. But this one is just... Oh, again, I could smell this for hours. I could have a candle that smells like this and I would never get bored of it. It does smell like maple syrup and if you haven't gone out and tried it, I highly recommend that you do so. It's, um, let's have a look, it's got oat, sheer butter and sugary body, <laughs> oat, sheer butter and sugar body smoother. That's a bit of a mouthful to say all at once. Um, if scrubbing you is wrong, we don't want to be right. Mmm, there's a motto to live by. Um, yeah, amazing scrub and to be honest, compared to some scrubs that I've wanted that are quite, you know, high end priced, um, because this is obviously a drugstore, it's from Boots, um, I would say the pricing is really good. Again, you don't need too much, although I do normally go OTT when using this. You don't need too much, all over your body. Um, and I absolutely love it. I use it before I shave. So I use it, I use this before I use this. So I'm in the bath, scrub away, put this all over my legs, shave, and then probably finish with just a nice body wash to make me smell nice. So next up on the Soap & Glory front is, and again, this needs absolutely no mention, yeah, yeah, I've done it. It's the Sugar Crush. I love this and I have repurchased this time and time and time and time and time again. It does last a really, 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 really long time. So that's how long I've been using this for. It just smells so fresh, so amazing. Citrusy, limey, just lovely. As soon as you put this on your body, you instantly feel alive, awake, energised. I know that's really cliche and really whatever to say but I really really love this I actually have three of these sitting in my bathroom because everyone knows I love Soap and Glory so much that I've got so much of it for Christmas um, but to be honest I'm so happy because it means I don't have to personally buy it for a while which is always a bonus I think um, and I know I'll get through it I even have one at my boyfriend's when I have a shower at his I have obviously like I said two or three in my bathroom um, I just think it's really good and again with a lot of Soap and Glory products, and with a lot of products in general, you don't need to use a lot. Just a few pumps, unless obviously you just want to coat yourself in it, which I think is fully acceptable. So lather yourself up and go out and buy this. Mmm. Love it. Finally, for a Soap and Glory product, now this really is the end of this product. It's the um, Glad Hair Day Conditioner. Now this was a full product. Ah, I've cut it. This conditioner smells oh my god amazing i can't describe the smell to you just go down to boots and sniff it your smell sniff it yourself sniff it yourself that's really hard to say can't talk today sniff it yourself it's just amazing it smells glorious and it makes your hair oh my word feel incredible whenever i have used this my hair comes away feeling so soft, so subtle, so looked after, and also the smell stays in your hair. I, I get really annoyed when I buy a really nice conditioner, a really nice shampoo, and the smell just goes. It just doesn't stay in your hair. And I'm like, why? Why does it stay in my hair? But this, honestly, this stays in your hair. I could like wash my hair, it'll smell all day that day, and then I'll go to bed, and I'll wake up the next day, and it'll still be in my hair. And I like love my hair with like products, and then obviously I spray like deodorant, and then perfume, but it still smells of this and I loved it so much that I just had to get every single ounce out of it. So I did cut it, um, so it looks a lot smaller but it is a normal size product, I can promise you. Um, love it, love it, love it and I will be buying this again. I think I've, I bought like the smaller version, you know they do like tiny little versions of their big products. I bought the small version, I think this was the first time I bought the big version. Um, but yeah, definitely, I think it's 3 for 2 at the moment in Boots. So when I get paid, in a week ouch um i'm gonna go buy a few soap and glory bits more hair care i think not that i need any more hair care you should see my bathroom Woo! jesus just a few bits left now for hair care and body um one i'm going to show you is a cow shed product 
I'd never used cowshed before and I've always wanted to and I loved it I absolutely loved it I would it smells very there is something in here that is lemongrass lemongrass and ginger it really smells of that it's quite overpowering actually when you smell it but I'll just drop the lid on the floor oopsie and it's all sticky Ugh. so the, the the smell I think is really good for a morning shower because it's so um, kind of like hits you I think it's really good to wake you up get you ready for the day um, I don't know do you have like a shower a morning shower and a, like a bath time smell I tend to um, I go for more like lavendery soft smells and I go for more like powerful woo smells in the morning um, so I think this is a really good um, morning <laughs> Shower gel. Um, bit of an odd one. I didn't really know where this would fit in, um, obviously, because you know I'm splitting my videos. Um, but this is uh, Beverly Hills Formula Toothpaste. Now, I, like many a person, want white teeth. And um, on a day-to-day -day basis, I struggle to do that. Sorry, my chair is so creaky. Can you hear it? It's off. Um, anyway, back, back to the toothpaste. So I've been trying to buy products that whiten my teeth, help my teeth, blah, 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 blah. Um, I do think I have okay teeth. I think. You can never really tell, but you always compare your teeth to someone else's. This toothpaste, I don't think, whitens my teeth, so don't rush out and buy it. But I think if you have white teeth or you have been whitening your teeth, I think these toothpastes really help to maintain the whiteness. Um, they do say that if you leave them on for like a minute or three minutes or something, um, and then brush them, that it, that's what whitens them. Personally, I have used these, like I've bought tubes about four or five times. I think this was like my third tube. I've got another tube in my bathroom, and I think I've got another tube in like my bag that I use to stay at my boyfriend's. Um, but I, I mean with all the tubes I've used I've never found that they have whitened my teeth particularly. Um, I think they, they help to maintain. I think there's some toothpaste out there that aren't that great um, for teeth whitening. I think this helps to maintain. I do not think that any toothpaste whitens your teeth. Um, personally I think they help to maintain the whiteness of your teeth but don't necessarily whiten them. But putting all that aside this is just a really good toothpaste. Um, the mintiness is really nice, which I always find. I like to get a good mint toothpaste. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend. It's Beverly Hills Formula. I think they're quite cheap. I think they sell them in Tesco sometimes, and they sell them in Superdrug. And I know in Superdrug, they're on offer quite a lot. I think the first time I ever bought them, I bought three, and I think they were reduced to like 70p per tube, which is ridiculous. And the tube, this tube is... 75 mil so it's not tiny it's not massive yeah um last up on the shampoo and conditioner front it's the um tiggy tg tg tiggy however you want to pronounce it um shampoo and conditioner these are the smoothing shampoo and conditioner they are shine and re rejuvenates um 750 mil so they are i believe a salon size i'm um, pretty sure 750 mil salon size i got these my dad bought them for me for Christmas, I think, not this Christmas just gone, the Christmas before, and I have only just finished using them. Obviously, as you've seen from this video, I use so many shampoos and conditioners, I use them for all different reasons, so I might be having like a really oily hair day, so I need to use like a clarifying shampoo, I might be having like a really dry hair day, so I do chop and change my um, shampoos and conditioners as suits my hair needs, the weather, seasons, all that kind of stuff, but these have been kind of a regular... Um, in my hair routine. I've also got the massive conditioner that's like a cauldron size of conditioner and that is obviously nowhere near finished but my dad, bless his heart, went out and bought um, repurchase these for me so he obviously noticed somehow that I was running out of them and he went and repurchased them for me which I thought was super cute and he put them in the bathroom with a little note on to, and said something like to replenish your stocks or something and it was just so thoughtful and so lovely um, so thank you very much dad that was very lovely of you um, but yeah it's just they're just really good shampoos and conditioners they smell amazing they smell like strawberries and cream all the way they're just absolutely lovely um, I highly 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 recommend these and just Tiggy or TG um, shampoos and conditioners in general I would personally recommend getting the 750ml um, if I could get every shampoo and conditioner this size I think I probably would um, but that's because I'm a little bit mental, so, you know. 
And lastly, this has a bit of a story to it. This is um, Morton Brown, um, and it's the Ylang Ylang Body Wash. Now, as you can see, it's in sample size. It's very, very tiny. I got this in either Glossy Box or Birch Box. I'm pretty sure it was Birch Box, I think. Don't hold me to that, though. I think I've actually had two of these in Birch Box. Is it Glossy Box? I don't know, one or the other. It's Birch Box or Glossy Box. Um, basically, I really like the smell and I used one up. And then I bought me and my boyfriend a trip to um, Bath for his birthday. So we went and stayed in a B&B in Bath and it was a lovely B&B, absolutely just lovely. Well done me for the choice. Um, and they had Morton Brown products as like the shampoos, conditioners, body washes, soaps, all that stuff. Which I thought was quite, yeah, upper class because I love Morton Brown. My parents have always used Morton Brown. I just think it's a really lovely, lovely brand. And I got in the shower, I think it was the first night or the first morning, I can't remember. I got in the shower and I was like looking at all the body washes. I'm like, oh, Ylang Ylang, that rings a bell. And so, you know, I started pumping on my hands, started putting it on my body. And I was like, oh, this smells amazing. So, and I'm really sorry to the people whose bed and breakfast it was because I probably used way too much body wash. And you probably thought, what is wrong with this couple who have used half a bottle of Ylang Ylang? That has never happened before in a two, two, you know, two day stay in our place, so I'm very, very sorry. But I literally lathered myself from here to my feet. Left the face for obvious reasons, but I lathered myself from here to feet, literally in probably like a centimetre of lava of Ylang Ylang. It smelled so good. I just kept going, kept going, and I said, Ollie, Ollie, it's my boyfriend, not some random person. Um, I said, Ollie, Ollie, can you come in here? And he came in and he was like, what are you doing? And I just said, smell me just smell me and he did say that I smelled pretty good obviously then I can proceeded to wash off the copious amounts of lava but my point of that story is this is bloody lovely it just smells so so good and bless his heart um, my boyfriend bought me as part of my Christmas present this year he bought me like a normal proper size of Ylang Ylang which I think I'm now a third through I think I've used a third and it's not even the end of February. And I obviously have many body washes. So to get a third through a molten brown body wash less than two months after you were given it, I think is pretty amazing in not a good way. Like, well, Grace, calm down with your lang lang. That is all of my hair care and body type um, products that I have used up. Now, just a little kind of note to say, these have been saved for I would go as far as saying like six months. But I just wanted to show you products that um, that I love and that I have majority of them I have repurchased or will repurchase. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, please like this video if you think it was, yeah, yeah, she's all right. She's quite good. I might watch a few more of her videos. Um, subscribe, it'd mean the world to me if you could subscribe. Um, and I'll just leave links down below. I'm a ridiculous Instagrammer. I love to Instagram. I Instagram stuff that doesn't need to be Instagrammed just because I want to, because I like filtering stuff. Um, follow me on Twitter. Not on Twitter a lot, but I can be if you want to talk to me. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I don't know what else to say. Bye!